first, how long have you been in the business and what market are you in? Well, I, I, I'm in the business since January, 2001. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Two, no, sorry. 2021. Oh, I got my license. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. 2021. Yeah. And I'm in the Vancouver, Washington market. I'm licensed in both states in Vancouver, Washington, and also in Oregon State as well. Sure. So you've been in it for just a couple of years and you're already oh, yes. out there competing with top agents and converting expired listings. So let's jump right into it. Um, you know, what, you know, because I think how long have you and I been working together? How long have you been in our coaching program for? Actually, I signed up with you last year, October. October, October the okay. 15th, October the 15th. That's right. All right. And, so you, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, prior to meeting you, I joined a lot of big time coaching guru. Sure. Which for me, I think it was a, I didn't really get much value from the, the coach who was coaching me. And I, at one point I look at one of them and, and I said to them, listen, what are, what are you teaching me right now? I've got to go on YouTube and, and learn that. Mm. So I wasn't really happy. And I was watching your video for a while. You know, I was like, keep on watching your video. But at the time when I saw your video, I didn't sign up. And then I was, do, I was in a nine to five job last year and I quit my nine to five job October. And that's when I jump on your program. Actually, I quit my job. I jump on your program. Then I quit my job because it was a conflict. It's like 95 job, real estate. I didn't get in where I want to go. So I said, you know, in order for me to be where I want to be, I need to get to the business 95 and just go all the way full time real estate. And, and your program came in at the perfect time. Got it. That makes sense. And so let's unpack that for a second. Um, what was it that maybe the other coaches were, were teaching you that you weren't finding value in? Like, what was it that they were asking you to do or what were they trying to teach you to do? They weren't giving me nothing, n mm. nothing for me to work with. And um, okay. there was no system. I mean, I, I joined a program to get a, a system because a follow-up system. I was dropping the ball in a follow-up because a lot of people I get on the phone, I talk to them. And it's like, as soon as I get off the phone, it's like they're behind me. Yeah, and I, I I was locking that. I didn't didn't have a system, a follow up system. Didn't have. Got it. it. Got it. Okay. So let's so you let's talk about what you're doing now that is working. So what are you working any other lead sources but expired listings, or is that kind of your main focus right now? My main focus is expired. I started um, this week actually start focus on on fast sale by owner, and it's so sure. funny. <laughs> yeah, I do role play every morning with um with Alex. He's also yeah. in the program. So uh, we, once we finish a role play, both me and Alex, we will start doing calling, calling. And I said to Alex, you know what? I want to start calling for a by owner. Yeah. And the first, first person I called, I was surprised. I didn't expect to get a, an appointment for tomorrow. I thought he was going to say no. And I was like, I was like, no, that, that, that can't be right. Did he just say, yes, he's willing to meet with me to talk about the option to get the, the home sold? Yeah. I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, because you're learning. I guess we can get into this even more in, in deeper. It's because of the 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 way in which you're learning to communicate, and the way we position the questions to get people to take you up on these appointments. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So talk yeah. about that. What what have you been What have you been learning over the last couple of months that allows you to set appointments where before maybe it was a little bit harder. Before I was, be, I was being pushy on the phone. I was keep okay. on pushing, 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 pushing. I was like going for yes, 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 yes. But now when I talk to a prospect, I'm just not for it. No, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the no. And I'm not hearing the no. And I'm not being too pushy. I'm, I'm vetting them just to make sure the appointment is this valid. And I'm, I'm confident and I know within myself, once I go in front of the prospect, I'm going to get a listing. No yeah, doubt. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. It's funny <laughs> when I joined your program, your 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 listing uh, presentation. presentation. I was very, I was hesitant to use it. I even mm. told Alex, you know what? I don't like Brand Brandon presentation. It's too much, too much. It confuse the seller. On my first listing appointment for January, and I said to Alex, you know what? I'm going to test it for. I'm going to I'm going to do a test run on Brandon presentation. <laughs> Went to the listing presentation. With your presentation, I nailed it. Mm. Yeah, I and I want to talk. I want to talk about that too, Peter. So I'm going to come back to the presentation because 
yeah. you know, it's funny. I, I have people tell me that all the time and then they use it because there, there's a system, right? To your point, yes, it is step a system. one, step two, mm -hmm. step three. And so we'll come back to that in a second. Let, let's stick back on the phone for one second. Uh -huh. So what you're talking about, what is being taught out there really puts you in a position where you get into like a thumb war with people. Yes. Like you're pushing them. They're pushing you back. There becomes this friction. You don't get the appointment and they don't get a great agent such as yourself. And so now what you're learning when you're talking about going for no, what we're looking to do really is to gently push prospects away. And the ones who push back are the ones who actually are great opportunities. So as an example for the audience, if they're listening to this or they're watching this on YouTube, you know, we'll say things like, listen, maybe now is not the right time. I mean, if I was able to show you a plan that would cause you to net the money that you need, that's not something you'd even consider at this point, right? And so the prospect says, well, yeah, I actually would consider uh -huh. that, right? So it's a different way of approaching the the end result so that the prospect doesn't feel that uh, uh, that sales pressure. Is that right? Yes, correct, absolutely. Yeah, correct. and so... Uh, anything to add, like when when it comes to what you're doing over the phone, or maybe the line of questioning you're using that's working? Well, the the follow up is also the key. Absolutely. Four of my listing, um, I got in January. The first one was one point five million, and the second one was a five hundred thousand. They expire on the board person. I call. Okay, okay, let's talk about the one point five million first. Sure. Reviewing. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I know this call is out of the blue. My name is Fido. I'm a local realtor. And I saw your home came off the market. Have you ever thought about, you know, the script? And they said, nope, I'm not the person. It's my dad. Um, yeah, you don't mind. Can I reach out to your dad? Gave me his dad number. Call the dad. The dad said, nope, not selling. Hang up. Seven days after, call the same number again. The same guy you told me, no, it's your dad. He said, yes, I am selling. Set the appointment. Say, same day, went for him 4 p.m., he showed me a brochure of another agent they're going to interview. I mean, mm. beautiful. Sure. When I go on a listing appointment, the whole thing I go with, just my iPad, that's it. Yeah. Nothing else. I go there, got the listing. He said, the other agent, I don't need him anymore. Wow. That's great. So what was it that you said over the phone that helped you get that appointment? I mean, I know we talked about a little bit of the scripts and what you're doing. Tell me kind of the approach. Okay. So when you told me on, on the phone, you told me he, he had another agent to interview. And I said, you know what? That's a great, that's a great thing to do. It's always good to interview other agents because, you know, agents, they all work differently. But would you be open to just to meet me, meet, just to see what I can do? And I asked him, um, did you sign an a, a con agreement as yet with other agent? Then he said, no. And I said, okay. And then that's when I went to the script and said, would it be opposed to for us to meet just for five minutes? Right? At least I can show you how I work differently than other agents. And Love he said, it. yes, he said, yes. And then I, I said, I booked the appointment for me. When I talk into a seller, I want to meet them same day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Same day. I want to meet them. Yeah. So really, I don't go for, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you're okay. So really what you're saying, Peter, is that you have learned to ask what we call no oriented questions that is just leading to better results, right? So yeah. would you be opposed? Yeah. Would you be totally yeah. against? Would you be totally mm -hmm. closed? My yeah. Got yes. it. All right. Now let's shift over to the presentation because that's really why I wanted to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. And so what was the hesitation that you had about your old listing presentation and what I was asking you to do? Well, my old listing presentation, I used to go in there and just talk to them and then wing show it. and wing it. But I, yeah. I did get I did get the presentation when I wing it because of all because I'm I'm confident. Absolutely you are, yeah. And at the end of the day, if they don't like and trust you, it doesn't matter home and home you your soul, they don't care. That's right. You're not gonna get a listing. Because <laughs> flashback to, to last year, November, right? And the system what I was doing before, Brandon, I used to call them and when they say no, then I see if they have an aim email address and then I would drop them in my KB core. That's yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. And so I was doing that system last year and then I was doing my Monday call and this lady responds, she said, no, this is not it. you have the wrong number. Okay. The next week I was doing my prospect call, incoming call. Hey, this is Ivet. You reached out to me last week. And I was like, okay. And uh, yeah, I want to sell my home. And I said, can we meet today? She said, yes. Go ahead and meet her. 
we were having a conversation. I always bring my wife with me. My wife is my team. She's my sure, stager. We sure. work together, right? Awesome. So when I meet her in person, she interviewed already three agents before me. And she had another eight more agent to interview after me. Mm -hmm. wow. When I meet her, yeah, I spoke with her. She said, man, she said, Peter, out of all the agents I talk to, you're genuine. I can see it in your eyes, the way how you you look into my eyes when you when you talk to me. You're like you're focused. You you listen to every what I said. She said other agent who she talked to is like she's in the doctor office. All they're doing is typing on your on your computer, not listen to one word of what she said. And I got to listen. That's amazing. And you do you do care, and you take yeah. great care of your clients, and you're confident because yes, that's really what to your point. That's what we're selling is can you make a seller feel confident in that you can get the job done right absolutely absolutely and i'm confident when i i get ex running i get excited when i go and listen to the presentation and i get excited when i when i'm doing your presentation i'm looking out for the objection that's what yeah. i'm looking out for and i'm not i'm not hearing it <laughs> that's right that's right so 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 the difference is so walk me let's go back to that you know when you said hey i was very hesitant to do that presentation that i was teaching you what yeah. made you nervous about it? Was it that you felt like it was a lot? Like, tell me what. what yeah, I felt like it, I felt like it was a lot of information mm -hmm. to give to the seller. With my one was like very short and and to the point. I'm more like having a conversation, like relaxing. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? on? that's kind of one on one one. Sure. And then I, I I you know what I said to Alex. You know what I'm gonna I'm gonna use this presentation for the start of this year and see how it works. And I didn't like it. I'm not going to lie. I sure. kind of resist that against it. It's like, this is not for me. And the moment I use it, I never look back. I keep on tweaking it. You know, and yeah. I, it's the best, man. I love it. It's, so, it's, so walk us through, yeah, walk the audience through, Peter, so they can understand. Like, you don't have to go through the script and all that, but like, walk us through the process of the new listing presentation that you've learned. Okay, what I learned is when you go to the home, of course, you introduce yourself. You walk around the home, compliment the home is nice. And then... You say, hey, you know, so, um, you know, thanks for inviting me. So what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, you know, you know, getting your home sold for a premium price. You know, we're going to talk about, you know, about my market, you know, my you're market You're plan. setting the agenda, right? Setting the agenda. And then third, we're going to talk about if it's we're going to be a good fit for us to work with each other. But it's okay if you're not a good fit because you can't work with every agent, right? right? And it's absolutely. And then the next we talk about, we're going to make sure your home is the, the obvious choice. So qualify your buyers you know draw That's to right. your home yes. yeah and then we then, then we talk about you know your home after sell three times they're like what? yes yeah. i say yeah first you know we got to get off on acceptance. and don't get excited as yet then next the home inspection because inspection is going to crawl all everywhere you're looking for problem mm -hmm. just just for you to come down on your price and then third the appraisal I'm also a BPO agent as well, I told him. Oh, and that's I said, great. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, BPO agent, you know how they work, and I break it down, you know, and, yeah. and I said, okay. And, and then we and then we go through the um the the, the days on the market. I yeah, love the days yeah, on the market. I love yeah. it. It's a great presentation, yeah, yeah. isn't it? That's, that's yeah. the best one. The yeah. days on the market. And then I say, we, after I finish the days on the market, I ask them, where you want to be? You want to be A or you want to be B? I love they it. Said, they said, obviously, A. I said, you know, I agree with you. Absolutely. And then I also insert my marketing, my marketing. You don't have that in there. You, you, you have it in the resume. Yeah. But I insert it into the presentation so they can sure. see what I do to market home to attract qualified buyers. Yeah. And it's, it's always a ha-ha moment what I do to attract qualified buyers for them. They love it. And then sure. I move on to the, the, the what I use, what I eat them with. When I look at oh, a realtor price to home with a price bracketing, mm. and I said, this is a wrong pricing for your home right now. Can I explain to you? And it's a sure. And then I start to explain in the presentation. The bracketing, oh, right? Oh, oh, it's like a ha ha moment for them. It makes so much sense when I explain to them. They say, yep. And then I I, I moved on to the, you know, the no, you know, no uncuff. Yeah, the value proposition. Value proposition. And you then know. you present the numbers to them, right? Exactly. Yeah. And they yeah. say, let's list the house. Let's go. Yeah. And I and I suggest two price for them. The yes. price A and price B. And of course, I know with my mind they're gonna go with price B. That's right. Yeah. All right. I always like to ask them, Brandon where you want to be sure and what i like from you is when you say that if i suggest price a and b and they don't like any of them i wouldn't i would ask them okay where you want to be yeah 
and they say they want to be which they never they never really i never have a problem with my with my with my uh my my list price they always agree with it yeah because it, i told him as a bpo agent i understand the market this is what i do this is what i do i go around and i take picture of homes and i run the numbers yeah. for the bank pull the comps, everything and also they're, they're they're very 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 impressed and i'm i'm confident man um yes you are i'm surprised i even yeah i'm surprised to be frank with you and then um at the end then we talk about um your at the end you know you once we close on a home, you know, once the contract is, everything is, paperwork is signed, what we're going to put into the yard. So, and, and you know the rest of it, Brandon. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So, what, like, how many listings have you gotten with just everything you've learned over the last couple of months? Are you getting a couple of listings a month or what does that look like now? Well, my, my target goal is two listings a month. And I got, I, got two, I got two last month and I got one already the first, the first of this month. And I'm going on, a, on an appointment tomorrow. I went to an appointment Saturday just to see. The seller told me already in a way, you're not going to list my home. And I said, I understand. I just want to come and show you what I can do to get home sold. So when you're ready to, to, to make that um, move, which I got all, I got all the information, they told me they want me to, um, to stay in touch. Very, 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 very nice people. So my target goal is, is, is two a month. If I can, I'm pushing for more. But sure. that's my target, and I'm on track right now because I'm I'm already two um, last month and already one already this month. That's awesome. And what is the price point in your market? Like, what's the average list price? It varies. It can be from okay. five hundred thousand, six hundred, seven hundred thousand, even um, over a million. Yeah, so you got a great price point. So two listings in your yeah. market is like six listings a month everywhere else. So that's really, really, really good. Yeah. So wh yes. what? What if you could go back and get licensed all over again, Peter? We rewind to twenty twenty one. You passed your real estate exam. What advice would you give yourself that maybe you would give to other new agents right now? Well, when you jump on a team, make sure you 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 vet the team. Because when mm -hmm. I get my license in 2021, I was doing a lot of open houses for team uh, for this. Um, I didn't even know they were a team. Um, and they they have a lot of listing, and they asked me, "Do you want to join our team?" And I said yes. And they told me I would be the buyer agent. And and I went on the team for the buyer agent. I want to get only, they want to give me one um, deal. I was out there doing door knocking. I was doing door, and I was doing it wrong. Sure. Once I met your program, I realized all the time when I was door knocking out there, it was all wrong I was doing. Because mm -hmm. I was doing knocking like every day, and even on weekends. Because I, I like to work. I like to go there also. Absolutely. And um, for the whole year, 2021, I only closed one deal being mm. on that team and they were like i see the i follow them on their their facebook and i see they were like posting oh i'm closing on my buyers i'm showing us to my buyers and i was like i'm supposed to be the buyer agent I, I, I'm, I'm confused mm. That's and interesting. Then i reached out to the person yeah when i reached out to the person he, he told me he said oh you know what oh you want to get the buyers when they're calling on the sign Mm. And I said no, I can't. No, I, I can't do that. And, and then, then I, I left the team two thousand on um last year, sure. January, and, yeah. and then I closed two deals last year on my own. Um, six, three listing and, and three buyer side. Yeah. In my That's nine, awesome. in my in my nine to five in my nine to five job. That's right. Now that you're working yeah. full time, what is your goal for twenty twenty three? Uh, my goal is um twenty five twenty five listing. Yeah. And in your market with that price point, how much in income will that represent? Yeah, I can make with my, my market, I can make over over easily over three hundred thousand. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well well, Peter, I'm excited to stay by your side and keep keep working with you to help you get over that three hundred thousand dollars because that'll be that'll be a big year for you. If you make over three hundred thousand this year, would that be the most that you've ever made in your life in one year? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. And so for everybody watching this, Peter, I mean, it takes hard work, right? It takes discipline. It takes, what does it take? I don't want to tell them, you tell them, what does it take to really succeed in this business? It's, it's not, it's not even discipline. You have to make tell it us. become a habit. That's right. You have to make it become a habit. It's just like when, it, when you get up in the morning and brush your teeth, you don't think about it. You do it because it's a habit. That's Same right. as when you jump on a car, when you jump on a car in, in the morning, Okay, I get up in the morning, 6 a.m. I go to the gym. I don't think about it. I just get up like a robot and do it. Yeah. When I jump on the call in the, on the dial at 8 a.m. in the morning, I don't think about it. There is no procrastinating. There is no like, like, oh, should I make the call? Right. No. 
I just make a car. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's my mindset. That's my mindset. My mindset is just keep this on. Is, this is your job. You wake up, it's you my work job. out, and you come and you hit the phones. Period. There is no other option yeah. than that. Period. Of, yeah. I mean, if you're... If you're working nine to five for somebody else and building your business, you're building somebody else's business. That's right. You're you're working on your business and you're not going to find the time to call on the phone to put money in your business. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. You know. Yep. If you're working nine doesn't. to five for somebody else, building somebody else's business, and you become a real estate agent, and now you're own your own business owner. You have to put forth that same effort for yourself the way that you did for someone else. And if you can't do yeah. that, you got no business being in real estate. And my tip for you is don't think about it because the moment you start to think about it, that's where the problem is going to come in. Don't just think do about it. it. Just do it. Yeah, Just do it. it. Well, Peter, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate uh, your time. And uh, maybe we'll have you back on the show at the end of 2023 when you've had your biggest year of your life. So I'm excited for you. And uh, we're rooting for you for sure. But thank you so much for jumping on today. Thank you, Brendan. I appreciate it. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye-bye.